right, move it. Come on, you filthy scum. Hurry up now. Come on, come on. Crazy loafers. Determined to make me a blackguard. I'm merely asking you to join me after lunch to do the decent thing like the Christian I brought you up to be. No, Father. You begrudge them even a prayer? Eat your words over dead men if you will. I'll bring a dozen more. Living ones. I'm going to build my dam. <laughs> are dominated by forces we cannot control. Forces of nature such as drought, plague and flood. And elemental forces within us. Fear, hatred, vengeance, ambition. Tempered as it were in nature's cruel furnace to monstrous proportion. I believe man could be kinder were nature so. Death is everywhere. Rain last fell four months ago, and our fine river, so recently a necklace of stagnant pools, has now dried up entirely. January the 12th, 1834. <laughs> Back home, this colony has become known as the cesspool. And they don't know the half of it. I've done nothing wrong. No, I have. Convicts working for squatters. Not in the rules, old boy. And as for getting them killed, I tremble to think what their lordships would say. I don't think it'll keep you awake. No. <laughs> How's Jassy? Divine. Quite divine. It's the divine. mail from Sydney, Thomas. The mail. Not before time, either. <laughs> Ship the back side. Visitors. Keep your hands off. If anyone's to do the greeting, Moll will do it. stay in the beans now. Oh, God preserve us a trout. Thank you, thank you. Darf ich Ihnen runterhelfen? Bitte sehr. Und das ist meine Tochter Anna. Oh, 
Have you ever thought of black labor? <laughs> There's a camp of black fellows at Fuller's Creek. You wouldn't have to pay them. They live on rum, you know. Welcome to the cesspool. <laughs> Das ist mein Bescheid in das Haus. Okay. Darf ich dir erlauben? Ja, bitte. Eine nicht sehr angenehme Person. Bitte. Ah. Herr Weithausen! Das war wirklich Fellas want work. Oh, want to work in your place? You've never worked my place. Yeah, never. No, I'll never want to work in your place. How do you know my place? Your place. Gone. Upana. All gone. Upana. Died. We go along your camp. You all the time give him grog. You work my camp. I pay grog. Maybe. Plenty grog. Molly, me love. Oh, well, at least you can get a drink. I may not be the lieutenant governor. He was a real gentleman. Get a drink. You've seen parts we ain't been privileged to. of you is she with? She looks free to me. Hello, Molly. Somebody will do for him one day. Sorry. Not before time. Scum. How's the damn, Cully? Who's that? Cheer me up, Luke. Be nice. There's not a man here wouldn't oblige. You, Luke. Hey, come on, Rosie, love. Give us a song. All right, come on, you Come, Rosie. Cheap grog, no one will touch. 
much. Make sure you water it down. Yes. Mind you do. It's that putrid, is it? Do what I say, water it down. I miss the strong plus of your hand and your breath warm on my cheek. And I still keep listening to the words you never more may speak. Now, White House is a fine gentleman. And he's rich. Fine, rich gentleman comes here. You know why? Because some lying fool told him that you struck it rich. You! <laughs> He'd take Anna and my money she had the pox. If she had a penny to her name, you'd see her, you fine, rich gentleman behind her. Eh, hey, Rosie? You can tell your fine, rich gentleman, let's hear the rattle of his coin, because he'll not see a pen of the mine. bounty shall my wants beguile. The barren wilderness shall smile with sudden greens and herbage crowned and streams shall murmur all around. It doesn't say that. Begging your pardon. No, Kate. It doesn't. <sighs> no memory for words. No memory for anything. I suppose a lot of you forget me when I am. Don't think of it. You're right. Gone for a wash. Mr. Lowe! Well, what is it, Morgan? They're here. Are they? My God. Well, get Shepard. Load the wagon. Don't forget those barrels of grog. It's their pay. Well, don't just stand there. The barren wilderness shall smile. We'll wash away our sins, Kate, in the waters of my dam. You expect me to stay out here with this camp of leeches, mister? You might learn something from me. I'll stay away from that bit of black velvet, understand? Trouble's enough. That's a black bitches. See, you mean it. Dilute that stuff before you give it to them. I'll have to mix it with some of your precious ale. Lost your tongue? No, mister. Yes, mister, I'll do as you say. Then get them to work. Everybody move. You know what to do, see if they do it. If anyone idles, use this. Come on, move. Or this. All right, get to it, up, you heathen up. rabble. Come on. Come on, on your feet. Get all of that timber. Move. Get some of them, too. Move. Come on, get up there. All of that, too. Come on, up. <laughs> what we done to deserve this? Thank you. What is that? 
The stock's dying. We have no water. Oh, dear. Oh, won't you introduce us? Oh, I'm sorry. Carl, this is Mr. Furbeck. I am Carl Waldhausen from Germany, your servant, sir. Ah, yes. Uh, dinner bell. Ah, yes. I understand your grandfather worked for Mr. Waldhausen's grandfather, isn't no. it? Yeah. No, 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 my grandfather. Ah, so. Yes, he uh, was a wine taster. Unfortunately, he enjoyed the wine a little too much. He became a wine ape. Uh, what would you say? Uh, a drunkard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you won't find land for grapes here. You know that, of course. Yes, I intend going further south. Well to the south. in love with me. Why should I mind? Has he met your mother? I hate you. Then why does it matter that Carl is in love with you? He's a strange man. He's a beast. land. Yours? Yes. You could expect a considerable profit. Well, it rains. <laughs> so you build a dam. Mr. Lou! Mr. Lou! Down here, Mr. Lou! They just run amok. I had no chance. They was real baldocks. Wild fellas when the grog started to work on them. I told you to guard it. Didn't you dilute that stuff? I had no chance. The minute you was gone, mister, they run amok. I've had a night of it. You ain't seen the worst, mister. All dead. They'll string me, mister, for something wasn't my fault. It was a grog. You bought that. Luke. My friend. If I am you, I would bury them. Who would know? Life here to go south, start my Weinberg, my vineyard. It is expensive. It is lonely. Ich möchte eine Reich Frau. That is, um, 
You need a rich wife. Oh, you understand. What about Anna? Her mother is, uh, how would you say, uh, Shrek and Spenced. She would cling to her fortune. Anna is desirable, yes, but uh, what is a wife without money? So you see my predicament. What would you say to someone less pretty than Anna? Oh, no. She's the daughter of an influential judge. Educated? Uh, cozy? Uh, bear children? And very rich. Ah. Her dowry will get you all the land and all the vines you want. You, um... You, th you think perhaps I should drink some of my own produce before I bid her? <coughs> Give you a letter. <laughs> Father? When I'm ready to leave, I'm ready to leave. The carriage is waiting and here you are dithering about. So come along, Caroline. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Mistress Glynn? Yes? Forgive me, ma'am. I have just ridden from the Furbex. Carl Waldhausen, your servant. Oh, how nice. They are dear friends of mine who insisted that should I be passing through Parramatta, I should pay you my respects. Oh, so like them. And how is dear Jason? Oh, well, ma'am. And Luke? Never better. They are a family to command one's deepest respect. Caroline, dear, here is Mr. Waldhausen come from the Furbex to see us. I am enchanted. We will postpone our little expedition. Oh, no, 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 no. It's of no importance, and you must tell us everything. Caroline, dear, show our visitor the way. of God. and Mrs. Horace Glynn have much pleasure in announcing the forthcoming marriage of their beloved daughter, Caroline Prudence, 
to Mr. Karl Waldhausen, only son of the highly respected Waldhausen family, famous... You sent Karl to Parramatta, intriguing behind my back. Oh, you are so bad, Luke Furby. You're so bad, so... So? <laughs> Forget what's past. Things end. New things begin. The dam? The dam, too. The dam and the damned. God, Anna, I love this place. I want a drink. There's no water. I want a drink. There's no water, sweetie. The settlers won't take them, sir. They can't feed them. Disperse those people! There you are. Empty. So what are you going to eat then? Saddles, boots, a bathtub? We have no more food. We are sold out fish. That's right, you skinsmen. Keep us the iron belly. You shouldn't talk like that. These, these are hungry people. Where's the best place for supplies? Bathurst or Sydney? There's no men to send, sir. They're guarding those extra prisoners. I could take them to Sydney myself, sir. Bring back supplies at the same time. Eight weeks? Too long. Damn it. Why don't we have enough of that? Prepare the men for a march. I know where to send them. So what's it to you? Some bush natives die. Here's to them. They were working for me. By oh God, I knew your grog was putrid, but... Poison. What did you put in it? Some tobacco, burnt sugar, dash of vitriol. You bitch. A dash. My hand shakes. It could have been more. I told you to water it down. I hear there are no bodies. So who's to know? No, thanks. Are you still building that dam? Of course. If I allowed you another 12 convicts, you'd just have to feed them, that's all. That's all. They're a road gang, scum, all of them, but they know how to work, and they know about construction. Well, well, well. We are in a cesspool. We're squatters, remember? Outside the government limits. I'm merely doing the government a favor. Who's to know? Unless you kill them all again. We can't feed them. And we haven't enough soldiers to guard them. I'm merely using my initiative. How do I? What? Guard them. Keep their leg irons on. Arm your shepherds. And get yourself an overseer. Who?
There's a man that wears a red shirt. They call him the Flogger King. I've seen him. His name is Finch. Where is he? Well, so much for my youthful ideals. It's the drought. Makes sinners of us all. Where is he? about a job of work. I have no need of help here. Uh, I have a proposition to put to you. Take no more. Twenty years of flogging men, women, and children. I heard differently. But you were overzealous. They kicked you out because you were more brutal than you needed to be. I never use one of them things again, mister. What you want of me? I've hired a gang of lifers to build a dam on my land. I need someone they're afraid of to take charge of them. You got the wrong end of the stick. I'm retired, gone to grass. I was prepared to pay most generously. How generous? I ask because there's other ways to make men work besides flogging them. I have some need of money. A grog, mister, before we go into details. Emily. Emily, my love. Two mugs of grog. She and me is very close. usage of people, blacks, whites, felons, be what they may. This is my land. Why don't we call it pandemonium, father? Abode of devils. Samuel, I beg of you. Our flock diminishes, father, with each day that passes. Settlers are ruined, families are starving, a child has died. The sheep we have lost, father, would have filled the bellies of them all. Now with Luke's rabble, we can safeguard our flocks from, well, acts of God for years to come. Why don't you say it, Father? Build your dam. Thou art and upon this rock, I... You blaspheme. Say it! 
I'll have no part of it. Fitch will be here at noon. Would have been kinder to shoot them. It's because I care. Because I love my little darling. Oh, come now. See me to the door. About three weeks. That's all I'll be gone. There's water and supplies enough for a little body to last. You could ride a team of bullets through my belly. Shut up! But if that grog went, it could have done with poison the fuel of these. <laughs> Bastard. Smack from hell he was. Follow rules and we'll be happy as possums up a gum tree. I don't use that no more. If there's to be trouble, Morgan here is a good shot. He got crow's eyes. What's your orders, Morgan? If it runs, shoot it. Right, now you've been bludgers long enough. It's off your backsides. Thinking blood of scum, you blood sucker. Whisper. Step forward. Come on, Cully. Bastard! You know it wasn't me. Time up. Ah, sit him down and hold him. It's a nice little time to show my kind of discipline. I got quite a list if needed. Just a little light discipline. Do what you like, bastard. Mm. No. This is just to take the edge off your color. No! No!
why isn't he working? He doesn't. Not on the dam. He's the Sally Thompson. A bitch. He'll cook. He'll take away the male itch. You understand my meaning. He's good for nothing else. Are you satisfied, mister? Chief, you lost, mister. What about him? <laughs> Sally Thompson as well as Cook. Dingo. Eat your prey before it's dead. You filthy dingo. Put your backs into it, you bludgers. you lot. Let's go. Bet 
Nature's dead. Natural causes. You understand my meaning. You got the whole dog, Morgan. They won't touch no corpse. We all got our peculiarities. Hey, you. You! Come here to load. You refuse an order? Move, Bludger! I dips my lid to you, Luke. So will Father. And just wait till it fills up. It'll last forever. I'll be off. Thank you. 